The Epps House was built in 1885 for Thomas Jefferson Epps. TJ, as he was called, was the great-great-grandson to the third president, Thomas Jefferson. Now, TJ worked for the Florida Railroad. He actually met his wife down in Orchard, Florida, and brought her up here. He was a conductor for the railroad, so he spent a lot of time out of town. But while the house was being built, TJ and his wife, Kate, were staying at the Mansion Hotel. TJ had gone on a two-day trip down to Archer. When he came back, his brother-in-law, George Dawson, met him at the railroad station and told him he had something very important to discuss with him. Well, TJ told him, said, out with it. He said, well, while you were gone, your wife told my wife that Major Schur, who was the manager at the Mansion Hotel, had come into her room and touched her inappropriately. Well, TJ was furious. So he went to the Mansion Hotel, he and George Dawson, and they confronted Major Schur. Well, Major Schur denied the charges. He told him, I didn't do anything. Well, TJ was so furious, he shot him. He died five hours later. But as he lay dying, he told TJ, as God is my witness, I may be a dead man, but I'm innocent. I didn't do it. Well, they actually were supposed to have the trial here in Fernandina, but it was held in Jacksonville. But, you know, back in those days, it was, you know, you could defend your wife's honor, so, you know, there was acceptable behavior. Well, after TJ and Kate, of course, they got acquitted of the crime, George and TJ did. After TJ and Kate moved into the house, their son died at the age of six months old. Kate died for some unknown reason six weeks later. But on her deathbed, she confessed to TJ that she had lied to him. Major Schur had never done anything. He had never said anything or done anything inappropriate. She had wanted him to stay at home and spend more time with her. So she was trying to make him jealous. And they're both said to haunt the house. We originally thought it was just one, but we found out from the family that it's actually both of them that haunt the house. Probably from the guilt, yeah. 